Oh, hello. Yeah, in this video, I will show you uh, how to do variable selection uh, and model selection in logistic regression using R. Uh, first, uh, uh, I will use uh, an ICU, the ICU data set from uh, Hosmo Lemma Show's uh, Applied Logistic Regression. Uh, that's a very famous book uh, they wrote about logistic regression. Um, it's so famous that uh, R has a package uh, called APL ORE3 that has all the data sets uh, in that textbook. So I already installed that package. So I was loading the library uh, and then uh, use the command data ICU. Uh, you can see the ICU object showed up. Uh, so take a quick look. So it has 200. Observation 21 variables, um, and the first two columns are ID and the STA status, that's the dependent variable, and these are the uh, type of the class of variables. Um, so how do we do um, variable selections? Uh, so the question is, which variable should we include in the logistic regression model? So in this data set, we still have more observations than number of variables. Uh, but in some applied situations, we'll have more variables than observations. Okay, so how do we do variable selection? So in uh, Hosmo Lemeshaw's book, they outlined a, a procedure. Um, so what we basically do is uh, we fit one simple logistic regression model for the dependent variable against uh, each and every uh, independent variable. And then we grab the p-value, uh, and we only keep those independent variables with p-value uh, less than 0 0.15. Okay. Uh, in some papers, uh, people uh, use uh, 0 0.2. Um, uh, but it's just the threshold we use uh, for variable screening. Okay. So here, um, first I just want to, um, you know, uh, take a look of all the uh, names of the independent variables, and then uh, I put all the independent variable into one data frame, and then uh, I record the dependent variable into y. Um, and then I wrote this a uh, very little function, r function slr. Uh, you can see what it does is it's going to regress uh, uh, y against x uh, using logistic regression. So that's a simple linear, uh, so simple logistic regression model. And then it's going to grab the um, p-value um, and then return the p-value. That in. And then I'm going to apply this uh, function on each and every column uh, for the independent variable data frame. Um, and then it will give me a vector of uh, p values like this. Um, and then I'll just record the, uh, all these p values that only those p values less than 0 0.15. Okay. And I can even get a a vector to record the position. Um, but um, so now we have these uh, selected variables. So we can fit a logistic regression model using all these variables. And the summary uh, model two uh, from the p value, you can see that uh, only type and LC are significant. So we just fit a final mean effects model using these two variables. And this is a summary of the final model for mean effects. Okay. So this is the procedure outlined in Cosmo Lemo Show's book. Okay. Okay. Um, and another topic here is uh, for model selection. Okay. Uh, for example, um, if we wonder if adding an interaction term uh, for to the mean effects model, uh, so basically type and LOC interaction, whether that will going to improve the model fit. So we can do that model four. 
in summary. Um, and of course, we can do uh, uh, an ANOVA test. Uh, this is actually type 3 test uh, for all the facts. We see the interaction term is not significant. It has a p-value of 0 0.99. Um, so the conclusion is, uh, you know, adding interaction term uh, is not, there's no interaction between the two variables. Um, but if we will use the AIC value to compare the models, the AIC value for model 4 is 161.32. And uh, for the mean effect model, the AIC is 159.32, which is smaller. The smaller is better. So the mean effects model is a better fit model. So there's no need for us to add an interaction term. Um, but the AIC value uh, has an advantage. Uh, it can be used to compare non-nested model. Okay. Remember, uh, for model 3 and model 4 above, we can use the likelihood ratio test because model 3 is netted within model 4. Okay. But for AIC value, we can even compare two models that are not nested with each other. Uh, just for fun, uh, I want to fit like a model for using SER, CRN, and INF, these three independent variables. And I want to fit a model 5 using type CRE and LOC. So they're totally different models. Okay. But if we fit them and we bring down the summary, we can see the model 4 has an AIC value of 193.5, and the model 5 has an AIC value of 159.34. So we can conclude um, model 5 is a better fit. Um, and we cannot really use a likelihood ratio test here because model 4 and model 5 are not nested. So this shows the advantage of using AIC uh, for model selection. Thanks for watching.